I already shot an entire review video about the most recent episode of Star Trek Picard, which, as I'm recording this, is episode seven, Monsters. So if you want to know, like, my thoughts on that entire episode, go ahead and watch that video. But this is going to be more of an off-the-cuff, let's just say rant, about a part of that episode that I didn't mention in my review that really bothered me and that I think speaks to one of the larger problems with the Picard show this season and with a lot of other stuff too, to be honest, going beyond even Star Trek. There's a scene in the episode where Picard, after Picard has woken up from his coma and he's reached some kind of epiphany about Q through a very, very specious train of quote-unquote logic. But never mind, that's not the problem that I'm going to talk about. And he goes to Ten Forward, the, the Earth version of Ten Forward, the Guinan's bar the, in the 21st century, and finds 21st century Guinan. And he says, hey, I need you to summon Q because I need to talk to Q about something, right? And Guinan says, okay, I'll summon Q. And she pulls out this old-looking, like like a genie bottle, right? It's a bottle. It's got some kind of booze in it or something, but it's like a very fancy, it's like an I dream of genie bottle. And she goes through the backstory of this bottle and talks about how there was this meeting long ago between members of her Elorian race and the Q and they reached some kind of accord. And here's the kicker. It doesn't even work. She tells you the fucking backstory of what's in this bottle and, and why it's important, supposedly, and how it's supposed to work. She pours the drink. She drinks it. A bunch of shaking happens. Some bottles break. But Q doesn't come. Q is not successfully summoned. And we kind of know why that is because we've seen that Q has been having problems in the series. He's not himself. He's ill somehow. His powers are are coming and going. So it's not a surprise or a mystery or, or inexplicable that Q doesn't show up when he's summoned. But the fact remains, we get this backstory about this bottle, and then the bottle doesn't even do what it's supposed to do. It's a couple of minutes of screen time that are totally wasted, that are devoted to nothing but expositing pointless lore that we don't need to know and that does nothing to improve the show. If you want to write the backstory of every fucking thing that ever happened between the Elorians and the Q, if you're one of those people that sees that interaction between Guinan and Q in season two of TNG, where it's obvious that they know each other and there's like history there, but that history has never been uh, explored in the show, you know, write some fan fiction about it. See if somebody will write you like a comic book about it or or mention it in a novel or something. Unless it is germane to the story that is being told right now. Why the fuck is that in a TV show? It is pointless backstory. And there is a preoccupation with extraneous, pointless backstory, with lore for the sake of lore, with world building for the sake of world building that has nothing to do with the story that just really, really irritates me. I don't, and, and this is, and I recognize this is a point where I diverge from a lot of other Star Trek fans, because a lot of Star Trek fans love this shit. And I don't mean love it, you know, to have like conversations with fellow Star Trek fans and to speculate about things and to come up with headcanon and stuff like that. Like, if they see it in the show, they're just all about it. They don't give a fuck if it has any, anything to do with the story or not. There's There was all this stuff in season one of Picard about the Romulans and history of the Romulans and uh, building out Romulan culture and, and introducing all these new Romulan words and Romulan terms and Romulan organizations. And I did not give a fuck about any of it because none of it mattered and none of it contributed to an interesting, engaging, compelling story. It was just, here's a bunch of new shit about the Romulans that we made up that is tangentially related to what is happening on screen, but none of which we really need to know. And we certainly don't need to spend all that much time on it, but here you go, just thought you'd want to know. And there are some fans who just loved that. And I am not one of those fans, because I don't give a shit. It, it, it relates to my feelings about Krypton in Superman. To me, Krypton is backstory. Krypton is how we answer the question, where did Superman get these powers? How can he do all of these amazing things? Oh, he's an alien from this planet Krypton. I don't need to know about anything that ever fucking happened there, other than the fact that Superman escaped before it blew up. That's it. 
That's all I need. And I barely need that. In a better show, I probably wouldn't mind. It's just like that fucking, uh, that awful bus joke from a couple episodes ago where they do like the callback to Star Trek 4 and they get the same fucking guy in the bus and it's the exact same thing, only slightly different, right? One of the reasons why that bothered me as much as it did is because the show is so bad. And when it does shit like that, it sticks out even worse. Because if there was, if, 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 they, if they did like a dumb fan service gag in the middle of an otherwise great show, okay, whatever. No show is perfect. But if they do it in the middle of a terrible show, a show that has just lazy, shallow, nonsensical writing all the way through it, then it makes it even worse. Then it becomes inexcusable. I, I have no goodwill built up toward this show to say, oh, let him have that one. And it's the same thing with Guinan and the Magic Bottle. We don't need to waste time in this story that so far has been almost nothing but wasting time to hear about what this magic bottle is, what the significance is, and how it's supposed to work in order to summon Q. Just have her pour the drink and drink it and have Picard stand there, maybe looking a little curious or a little puzzled, like, hmm, I wonder what's going on there. Tease it. Have it be a little bit of a mystery. Give the fans who are into that kind of thing something else to speculate about. You don't need to stop everything dead and have a character say, oh, by the way, here's the story of this fucking bottle. And here's a bunch of backstory and lore that will mean nothing. This isn't writing. This is accumulating clutter. That's all it does. It clutters things. It chokes things. It gums up the works. It gets in the way and, and takes up screen time that should be devoted to focusing on what the story is supposed to be about, which at this point, I don't even really know. I don't think the characters even know. We're back to where we were a few episodes ago, where I don't know what their goals are. I don't know what they're even trying to accomplish. I don't think that they know what they're trying to accomplish. The question that I keep asking myself when I watch it is, what is the fucking point of any of this? What is this even supposed to be about? I don't even get what it's supposed to be about in theory anymore. It just seems aimless and pointless. But thank God we still have time for Guinan to take a few minutes and explain to us the history of the magic cue bottle. That's the problem. I said it. I ain't sorry.